Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well today. It's your boy, Sargente Yagante. I just had chicken alfredo, homemade, and it was the best thing I've ever had. So I thought, hey, why don't I use this extra power I've gained to come on here and make a little bit of a video, okay? Now, I would make it longer than this, but this is the only... Uh, <laughs> footage that I have that's kind of just general purpose. I have 160 other pieces of footage that all have designated videos that they should stick to. But with that being said, um, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update, maybe just yap about a couple other things once I'm done with that. Um, because obviously I've not been uploading as much as I used to. I was on a crazy grind set there for a while, and then the last couple months I've not been doing as much. Um, I do apologize about that. There's multiple reasons as to why. One reason is that life and finances have been very uh, pressing here recently, not been able to focus on the channel as much, as well as I've just got something going on to where no matter what I do, I'm just very, very tired all the time. So when I finally put something, something together or stream, it's usually because I'm feeling a bit better. I'm trying to get back on the fitness grind set, uh, which should hopefully increase the productivity of the channel. Uh, past that point, gotta gotta get swole, you feel me? Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on there. Take it from me right here, right now, pause, that I do plan on making more consistent videos like i have these really big i've got like five really big project videos that i plan on making between things like the beggars run different montage videos different videos where i am you know in quotation informing you or at least a informative informational video right and and look if you're new to the channel i like making everything okay there are some people that stick to informational videos, there are some that stick to Twitch highlights, and other people just stick to whatever their own niche is. I, for some reason, just like making shit, okay? Sometimes I'll make something funny, other times I'll make something where I'm trying to give people information. So, uh, don't expect any type of consistency in that regard from me. Um, just, just know that I'm making stuff that I would want to watch and hopefully you will too. So that, that's kind of what to expect, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll make more, uh, little videos between the big projects. Uh, just life's been a bit tough recently, so we'll, we'll definitely get that figured out. We'll, we'll get big and swole together. Come check out the streams. Also, I have a Discord now. It'll be in the description if you want to check that out. But just beware, it is full of monkeys. So, you have been warned. But, with that being said, since we have a bit more time left, I wanted to talk a little bit about Elden Ring's PvP in terms of how it's doing right now. Um, also, pay attention to this clip in the back. I am BGing this guy so bad. <laughs> I've got a teammate here with with the ore blade, very scary, and this host just is getting comboed by the thunder every single time <laughs> he tries doing anything. Uh, I am literally being the most obnoxious motherfucker on planet Earth right now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, chee cheese, dude. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I I've been really enjoying the patches that have come out most specifically patch 1.14 the r2 changes that they made i think as you can tell by the video i made a couple weeks ago is the best thing i think they could have done for this game other than just actually fixing it um but unfortunately elden ring is going to continue to have a very very small player base in comparison to how large it was when at launch or at the launch of the dlc be, as long as the Taunter's Tongue is not fixed, everybody mentions it. Everybody mentions it. Everybody does. Thank you, Donald Trump, for showing up randomly. Um, yeah, as long as that's not fixed, the, the game's going to have very little player base because just a ton of people leave because it's not fun invading, and then a lot of gankers leave because there's not enough invaders. And so... Now, you can go to certain rune levels where people, there's still a lot of people, like, I hear that 
max level brackets have a ton of activity for some fucking reason. I don't understand that. Um, you can also go to, say, like, low levels and stuff like that, too. But when it comes to the meta levels, at least in terms of my experience, they tend to be really, really, really dead as of right now. And it's really sad. Um, I'm going to try out some different stuff to try and get more activity. Um, I, I still have my rune level 80 character. I, I love that, that rune level to pieces. But, um... Uh, yeah, when it comes to, like, the people that linger around the meta level, which is, in theory, where the most skilled players are supposed to be, because that's where the tournament level is, um, you would expect that to be the one that's bustling, because when it came to all of the past Souls games, that was the case. But it's not even just the Taunter's Tongue and whatnot, it's also just the fact that there's a ton of cheaters at meta level, um, there's never ever been another soul level, uh, a rune level, that I will run into someone that's got sp fucking spinning slash on the fingerprint shield. Like, what is that? <laughs> um, you know, like, th there's a lot of reasons people don't entertain this, this rune level, which is just sad to see. But... Yeah, I mean, you know, we're getting very, very close, guys, to the type of stuff that I want to make all the time. But I will hopefully be a little bit more consistent in the future. Uh, Elden Ring bad, invasion suck, uh, chi-chis, and I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you soon. Peace.